Let's take a look at how to use the North IQ planning tool. So when you open it up, you're going to start on this page here. Uh, there's a link right here that will take you through to our contact us if you have specific questions you want to ask about it. But let's get right into it. And we're going to start off with a really simple uh, question and answer thing. So first of all, do you provide a product, a service or both? So let's say you're a retail store, you're going to provide a product. How much do you want to make per month with website sales? Let's say I want to make $10,000. How much are you currently making per month? I'm going to say on my website right now, I'm making $5,000. So the first question is, do you have a website? Yes, I do. Do you have a social media presence? Uh, no. Are you tracking web analytics? So do I know where people are going to on my website? Uh, I'm going to say yes for this one. Are my using Google AdWords? No, I'm not. Are you using display ads or promoted ads uh, on any networks? No. Do you launch email campaigns? Yes, I do. Uh, I send out one email a month. So I'm going to click on monthly. Are you collecting names in a database like MailChimp? So I'm going to say yes. How many people are in my database? Uh, I have 1,500 people in my database right now. How many new James names do I generate per month? Uh, I'm getting about 21 to 30 a month. Do I generate referrals or word of mouth sales? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm going to go word of mouth leads. How many new people come into my store based on word of mouth? Uh, six to 10 roughly. Is my website optimized for F SEO? No, because I haven't even done that lesson yet. How many visits does your website get in a month? Uh, I get about 10,000 visitors in a month. And how many sales do I make in a month based off that? Well, I know from my last month that I was making, let's say, 250 sales at an average cost of $25 each. So my average cart is that. Sorry, I'm going to decrease this to 5,000 because I set up here that I was actually doing uh, I'm making about 5,000 a month. So 250 times that should be about right. Details. Um, so this is the part where I can actually start to enter some information. If there's a green field, then I'll actually enter in uh, things. So for example, am I doing cost per click? Well, right now I'm not, uh, but this just gives me a rough idea of what, what cost per click would work, look like. Um, if I was doing it, let's say I was generating and this, I would get out of my uh, ad account. So let's say I'm doing a thousand, one thousand here and I'm getting a hundred clicks. So that's a 10% click rate. Uh, my cost for this last month cost me, let's say $250. And my conversion rate to sale is at 3.5%. Uh, again, you have to have a lot of analytics kind of together to figure this out and display ads. But this is going to really quickly tell me, you know, what's my ROI on cost per click? Uh, so it's actually my cost per sale is $71.43. Am I making $71.43 on every ad? Let's go over here to email because I know that I'm doing this. Um, so my email program will actually tell me what my average open rate rate is. And let's say it's 41% and that my average click rate, which again, the email will say, let's say it's 12% and some things are going to change. So this tells me that I'm going to get 183 uh, visits per month and I'm going to have about 14.64 sales. So if I know that my email generates me more sales, maybe I say that 22% of people who go to my site from an email end up buying things. So that means I'm going to do 40 sales per month. Uh, and then I can also take a look at referrals and, you know, this based on the number of referrals that I said that I'm going to get, I'm going to have 3.5 referrals. Referral sales are usually pretty high. Um, so I can say that, uh, you know, if I get six to 10 through, 35% of them are actually going to result in a sale, which means I'll get 3.5 uh, refer uh, referral sales a month. Finally, we're going to go to a recommendations page. So on a recommendations, you see you've got a website. Good job. 
review review your SEO best practices. So this tells you greens are good, reds are things that you need to look at. Google AdWords, you should begin testing an AdWords campaign. Consider launching social media. Consider testing display ads to generate traffic for more new ads, uh, new numbers. Um, yeah, because we didn't fill out our, our display ad stuff, it's not giving me any recommendations there. But natural web con traffic, conversion rates, total visits, uh, increasing the top of funnel traffic will always be a priority. Considering doing more email campaigns once per week is a great as long as they're relevant. Your open rates are good. Nice job. Work on the creative within your emails. Consider how the tone of the message because your click rates are a little low. So this gives you some some practical, tactical things that you can do with this. Uh, and, you know, we think that some of these things, especially when you start to figure out what the ROI of an email is, um, considering an email takes you about an hour. So all you really have to do is uh, consider what your average praying a, a, a person is, and uh, that will help you figure that out. So that's our North IQ way planning tool in a nutshell. Again, the recommendations are really where the, the magic comes from uh, and the four areas that you need to consider. That's that.